Hey y'all, it's Kim at Yah Sweetwater Garden and Ministry. I'm out here on Yah's beautiful Shabbat day, and um, it's almost the Sabbath is almost over, and the sun is setting in the west. <laughs> Yes, setting in the west. But um, I came on here to give you guys a word. Um, I was talking to a friend today and she really had me thinking about some things and how the Lord um, worked things out. And let's have a word of prayer before I start. I need the Lord, I need the Holy Spirit to guide me as I speak and just allow the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, to use me in a way. It's so beautiful. Alright. I'm gonna wait till these cars pass because they loud. Alright. Dear Heavenly Father, Father Yah, I come this evening father thanking you for your beautiful shabbat and i thank you for your love and your care for watching over us this beautiful day and i ask that you forgive me of my sins if i said or thought or did anything or heard or seen or anything on your shabbat father forgive me cleanse my heart make me mold me use me in the way that you have to use me and order my steps in the way that you have for me to go and bless those that are hearing the sound of my voice, that they hear you and listen to you, your still small voice and your Holy Spirit using me in a way. Father, guide us and keep us. And just thank you so much, Father Yah, for everything you've done and continue to do for us. Bless us and keep us is our prayer in your son, Yahushua's precious name. Amen. Um, I think of the scripture, um, lean not on their own understanding, or say, I trust in the Lord. And lean not on your own understanding. Um, also, um, having faith and believing that y'all will work your your life out in the way that it should be, in the way it should go. Um, and he is working it out for us. You know, those who's trusting in him, believing in him, and being obedient, love him, being obedient to his word, to his word. Um, he is he's you know having faith and knowing that what he says he's gonna do he's gonna do it you know he's just he said ask and you shall receive he will um, it's not so much of the materialistic things it's, it's the spiritual walk with him um, him guiding you to what you he wants you to do and um, just trusting in him, knowing that he will do it. Uh, I'm just, ooh, I'm, I'm enjoying this scenery here behind me. But um, I thank him for just allowing me to be out here um, in California with my mother once again. And just being able to know that he is doing his work in, in my life. And... Um, also in my family's life and my mother and just allowing me to soak in, in being his in his presence being still and knowing that he is working in my life for my good and it's just been such a blessing to know that he has um that he's working in our lives each and every day and being in, in, in this present being you know taking it day by day because tomorrow's not promised to us um, it's not promised to us today is this moment you know I could get in a car and enjoy drive down the highway and end up getting in a car accident and dying you know who knows you know we don't know so that's why I say you know you living in the present now, living in his spirit, and knowing that he is taking care of us at this moment. You know, he gives you bread, which is food, he gives you water, you know, gives you a roof over your head, you get warm clothing, 
you know, the basic necessities that we need. We need, understand, we need. You know, the things that we want, sometimes he do give us those things, you know. But be careful when you ask for them because, you know, it may be too much for you to carry, you know. He won't give you no more than what you can bear, but we can put it on ourselves sometimes and realize like, oh man, why did I do this, you know. It's just too much for me to carry right now. So, yeah. So I know there's going to be some things changing um, in my life when I go back home um, to Texas. And um, he's trying to prepare me for those things. You know, I, I, I truly, him giving me the faith and, and the connection to be with him with character, you know, I'm not perfect, but I'm striving to become what he wants me to become. And I am the daughter of Yah. Um, and, and, and allowing Yahushua to come and live within me, you know, he can only change me to be who I am, you know, and that's, and I've accepted that. And I, and I, I love that. And I just want to draw closer and closer to him, you know, so allow him to come into your life and change you because it is it's, it's it's an amazing thing you know he gives you the spirit to be able to worship him it's all about worshiping him and loving him and giving him the praise and the glory and the honor and 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 he deserves it because he's god he's yah he loves us you know yahushua died on the cross for us he loves us that should make you just like ah oh, you know it's amazing, you know, and he allowed the Holy Spirit to come into you and woo in your heart and your spirit and just, you know, take over you and just say, you know, do as your will, Father, whatever it may be, let it be done, you know, it's just, it's, it's such a blessing, you guys, yes, even through the storms of our lives, he gives us the strength to go through them, you know, so just, just let's soak into his presence you know and, and just and just be able to just take it in and just just I love it I'm sorry you I'll just I get in I get so excited you know and I'm just going to be humble it humbles me at the same time because I know he's here I know he's with me he's he's guiding my footsteps he's he's ordering my steps you know and I just thank him for that I really do I thank him for his love and his protection over my family and over my friends and our neighbors and everybody. I was looking at some flowers. Let me see if y'all can see them. They're real. It's the bush. The bush of the flower. Those are real flowers on that bush. It's pretty yellow flowers. I just love them. And those green flower, those red flowers down there. Those are red. Those are real too. Those are pretty. I just I see his in nature. I see the the birds and the bees and the trees and the grass, the green grass and the animals. The, it's just I love it. I love it all. You know, it's just such a, a blessing to be in his in his canopy of just being here. You know, we're here on this earth to share, to love, to teach. You know, one another the experiences of our lives and our testimonies of what y'all has done for us and and just it's abundance of just how it is you know so i just came on here for a short time or period and just to share that with you you know um i'm gonna close out with this a prayer because um the sun is setting and i want to be able to close out the shabbat and be able to just praise continue to praise his name because he is worthy he's worthy he's worthy to be praised give him the honor and the glory which he deserves because he is Yah. he's he's mighty almighty the great i am Whew! thank you father thank you thank you for your love and your mercy and your grace and your long suffering and and your being a just Yah. just being who you are to praise your name to give you glory Sing songs of praises to your name, Father, because that's who you are. You're mighty. You are a creator. You created us in your image, Father, to praise your name, to give you glory, to give you honor in the praise and the glory. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. 
for everything you've done for us. Please just continue to watch over us and protect us, Father. You are so good. You are so mighty. You're so awesome, Father. You created everything perfect. Father, thank you. Thank you, Father. Now, please, Father, go with us as we close out your Shabbat, Father. Bless us. Watch over us through the new week. Have your way. Order our steps, Father, because you are mighty, and your Son is mighty and great. Your Holy Spirit teaches us, wills our hearts, direct us when it's danger, tells us to stop, be still, and let Yahweh show us the way. Please, Father, guide us and direct us. Be with my mother. Watch over and keep her, my brothers and sisters, my husband and my children in Texas. Just have your way, Father. Please have your way, have your way, have your way. And just thank you in advance for everything that you are doing, that you will be doing, Father, in, in my family. Thank you so much, Father, is our prayer. Your son, Yahushua's precious name. Amen. All right, you guys, I'm going to let you go on that note. And I love you. And I, um, for safe travels for my, my niece, if she's going to, you know, but, and I have nieces that done already moved to Texas, but just, I pray for all of them that are coming to Texas or whoever, who else is moving away or doing whatever, you know, it's just a blessing. I'm watching y'all work. He's, he's, he's putting his people where he wants them to be. You know, if you want to be obedient, do it. If you hear that still small voice telling you to do it, do, do it. Read his word, test the spirit, knowing that he is who he is. All right. On that note, I'm going to let y'all go. I love you. And have a blessed evening. All right. Bye for now.